Hi everyone. Thank you for stopping by the Canadian Colorist Art Channel. My name is Denise and today is pretty exciting because I have to show you a massive art supplies haul that I have made over the last <laughs> several weeks. So um, let's just get right to it. The first place that I stopped in, because I actually went shopping um, at Staples and HomeSense. So I'm going to show you uh, some items from there. And then the last part of this video will show you my Timu haul. Because that's a, a, a website that you have to go online and order from there. All right. So first things first, at Staples, I found these Tombow dual brush pens and they're the pastel set and I just thought they look really pretty so I wanted to buy them. These were not on sale. I just saw them and thought I, I just really wanted to have them. I did swatch them and they are this row here. So um, I haven't worked with them like in a coloring page or a coloring book as yet, but I'm kind of excited to work with them. Most of you probably know that Tombow is usually a very good brand and is a lot of fun to work with. This package right here, this is a paper, this is a whole bundle of paper that I, I bought uh, again from Staples. It is 110 110 pound okay which means that it's a very thick paper kind of like cardstock and i bought it because it can still go through my paper my printer and whenever i download a coloring page either from an illustrator that i you know that i subscribe to online or that i purchase from etsy you know anywhere that i you know, want to download a coloring page and put it on my own paper, then that's why I bought a whole big set of those. Okay, so that was from Staples. The next place I went to was HomeSense, because whenever I get a chance to go there, I live in a small town, so I'm far away from any small city, big city, so whenever I get to a place where there's a home sense, you know, a Staples, a Michaels, it's exciting for me because, you know, it's, I might only get to those places once or twice a month on a shopping trip or some kind of appointments that I have to make in the bigger city. So that's why, you know, I sound so excited, <laughs> but just letting you know, I mean, I kind of live out in the wilderness and yeah, it's just, it's not easy for me to access stores with a lot of good art supplies. Um, okay, so again, at Home Sense, love stopping in that store. They usually just have a really small aisle that they have a bunch of art supplies. So I always like to go through that and see what I can find. The first thing I found were these uh, Montmartre brand, and this is called Skin Color Pencils, and it says Signature on there. They were only $4, and I thought, okay, I'll give those a try, and I did swatch them, and you know what? I'm not sure that I have my swatching chart with me. No, I for forgot to grab it, but you know what? Just to give you the very quick review about this, uh, I'm not that impressed. <laughs> I swatched them out. They're, they're kind of scratchy. And compared to the Crayola Colors of the World uh, skin tone set, I, I would go with that. Uh, I, you know, this was only $4, so it's not, you know, the worst thing in the world that I spent on. I mean, the pencils are nice, right? Like, they're designed really nicely. They're... Um, you know, six-sided, so they don't roll around. Um, so they look really nice. They feel nice on the hand, but I, yeah, wasn't that impressed when I swatched with them. So I won't give up. I'll still find a project 
and give them a second chance. But, you know, on first impression and just letting you know, not sure, not sure about them. The next item I found were the Arte Arteza, the Premium Real Brush Pens. And there's 13, and these were the pastel tones. Uh, these were $12. And when I went to lift the, the lid off, it, it just tore right off. So that's why it looks like this. Uh, but that's okay, because uh, after this video, I'll take them out and store them into uh, a different case. And <clears throat> I did swatch these. Okay, so the Arteza. That is this top row up here so they are they're they're lovely colors they're a very soft brush so um compared to the tombow like the because these are you know like a a water-based ink brush too and and the brush is a little bit s stiffer and I, and i kind of like that because it was easier to work with the soft brush it um you know it was hard it's harder to layer because depending on the paper that you're using it on it sometimes kind of chews up the paper if you're putting too many layers um so but that's that i think they're nice and i'll keep working with them to see how they perform and at home sense very often they have the king art brand and then i saw this set and it's 36 brilliant colors, quick drying, soft, flexible brush tip, water-based ink uh, for sketching, drawing, and illustration. And so the soft, so just like these, they, they have the soft brush tip on it. But these, this is a nice set. It comes in a really nice case that you can flip open. It flips open like that. I don't know why that one was upside down. <laughs> So they all snap into place. They're maybe I should have left that one out. They're um, they're kind of like on the shorter side as compared to. I don't really have. Well, I'll compare it to this. Okay, so they're like a little bit of a shorter product, but these are really nice, and they're just a single tip. There's no, you know, they're not a dual sided. Um, these colors were really nice. Sorry, I had to swatch on a new sheet because there's 36 of these. And yeah, look at that. Lots of greens, lots of blues, and a nice like peachy pink, orange to yellow range. And yeah, they swatched really nice. So yeah, my impression of these, very nice. Very nice set of pens. And I think that was everything that I got from HomeSense. So let me just put this aside. Now, from Timu, I'm going to bring out the items uh, uh, sort of one at a time here because there's so many. So uh, from Timu, that is um well the website these are products that get shipped from china and it's been popular you probably have seen videos all over you know the uh the youtube world you know showing their timu hauls whether it's craft supplies you know home home decor clothing i mean that it, it's when you look at the website i mean you can really go down the the rabbit hole for quite some time prices are amazing and the the shipping threshold is really low like as as long as you're ordering at least twenty dollars your shipping is free i wish i had an affiliate link i don't um i'm trying to grow my channel so that i can start you know um accessing affiliation links um and those kinds of things but for now everything i buy it's all my own money and uh, I like to, these are all things that I would just buy on my own, whether I had a YouTube channel or not. And since I have started this YouTube channel, I want to show the things in case it is helpful to you. And um, 
helpful in your in your coloring and art journey. The uh, this set is the Color 50 piece soft pencil colored pencil. So instead of you know the chalk uh, pastels that you hold in your hand, I always love that the effect that that gives but it's very messy when you're holding that on your hands and then you tend to you know blend with your fingers and things like that so you're kind of a mess after you use those uh you know chalk uh pastels so that they have that same idea but in a pencil form is brilliant and just like color you always get a nice uh cardstock to swatch out your colors they do have the the colors on the tin but that's not quite accurate because it's you know um you know made right onto the tin so you always need to swatch out your you know your products but so I did that already and this is the set there are two, I think there's two two trays in here Yeah, so the two trays, and they look like regular color pencils, but the formulation is very much a chalk, like, well, chalk pastel, okay? So what I did, just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like, I... Have I subscribed to the R.J. Hampson newsletter, and he's he's a wonderful illustrator. He's got lots of coloring books out there. But when you subscribe to his newsletter, he'll send you um, a free coloring book page that you can download, and which is perfect because then I can print off an image that he has sent. So this is one of the free images. I printed it on a pastel, like a chalk pastel paper. That's why it's a light blue and you can get those in lots of different shades of, um, you know, in a, in a book of blank pages. So I printed off the image that I liked. This is, I think, one of my favorite R.J. Hampson illustrations. So it's like this sort of, tree house on an island and the little fella maybe he's a pirate I'm not sure because he does have a skull decoration on his house and on his little fence post so he's maybe coming home not sure but anyway the um you can see how it gives that very soft look to the page this was a lot of fun and like I say a lot less messy working with chalk pastels and you know you just come in and work with it just like a regular pencil and then you can blend it out using um I mean I don't recommend using your finger because uh there's a lot of fine detail but if you get those little blending stumps and to blend out areas that you want then that works really well I still need to spray a fixative on here because like chalk pastels once you've finished your project you know you don't want to touch it because it can smear so i will be spraying that with my fixative later on i just want to show you that and show you this that is available and i'm sorry i can never remember how much i pay for anything but this would be a good price if you so choose to order online at Timu. Another item. Okay, you might be thinking, how is that an art supply? Uh, it's a lamp. Okay, so it's I put it into this video because it's like, well, I consider this an art supply item <laughs> because it is a wonderful little lamp that helps me i'm just turning on the switch at the bottom it's a touch okay so 
the light shines down and actually I can touch it a few times and it changes into like a warm setting or a light setting. Sorry, here, I'll just tip it. I hope that that's not irritating anybody's eyes, but see, as I keep tapping it, I, it changes, you know, to a cool light or a warm light. So what I like about this is now I can stand it wherever I need to. And when I'm working on a project and my lighting isn't very good, I need a little extra I can just tap that. I can move it around wherever I need to. I'm right-handed, so this is a nice light source for me on this side. Um, if you're left-handed, you know, and really needed a light source real close by, you could, you know, it's just so handy. And it's a rechargeable, so there's the port. Let me just turn this off so I'm not shining that light. It comes with a rechargeable cord. So that's why it makes it portable. I I do have to charge it often, but you know, to me, so what? It's a very handy tool, and that is why I've included it in this art supplies haul. At Timu, they're very popular for all kinds of cases. So the makeup brush case, I bought one of these. So it's it says travel season. Uh, the letter A is kind of rubbed out. I don't care about that. I didn't buy this for a travel case to put like makeup brushes in. That is what it's designed for. But let me show you why I bought this. So it just zips up like this and it can stand. And there's little, well, there's little punches inside here too. Okay, so let me put that there and I'll show you exactly A lot of us colorists, oops, sorry, I hit the camera. We use these makeup brushes for our distress inks and other ink pads. And I have a whole set of these brushes because I do like to dedicate a color to a brush. And anyway, storing these, this is my whole little pile of them. This makeup brush case is perfect. And then it can stand. And then as I need, you know, whatever brush I'm looking for, for my Distress inks to work on a project, it's lovely. So I like that because it stands on its own. And all of those brushes that I have, and I can zip it up and put it away and I don't have to worry about those brushes. All right, <laughs> there's more, there's more. Okay. At Timu again, cause this is, uh, this is all about, this is all from that website. This is a wonderful pencil case that I found. It has this brand name, it says Angu on it. There's a pouch here. And, sorry, I thought there was, oh yes, here we go. It's, a, there is another zipper. There we go. <laughs> Looks complicated, but what that extra zipper does is just expands, helps you expand the case. So if you have a lot of pencils or whatever art supplies that you're hoping to put in here, it just opens up like that. There's an extra flap inside to put, um, you know, whatever pens, pencils, glitter pens, brushes, anything that you might want to think about putting in something like this. So I bought this in mind to put my Crayola colored pencils because I like to travel with them and I don't want to take my expensive color pencils when I'm traveling. You know, Crayola is a nice budget pencil. I can put my whole set in here and any other items that I like to use in my coloring pages so that when I'm on the road, I've got everything in a nice case like that. Another, I'll come back to this one. Another case that I bought meant for, I was hoping for my colored pencils, beautiful case. 
right? So it's, it's so pretty, but I kind of made a mistake when I chose this one. I thought my colored pencils would fit in here nicely. Uh, they don't. And I thought, what the heck's going on? So I had to look back at my order and like look at the details of this case and it's designed for markers and I think like for the bigger markers which I don't really have so it's not that there's anything wrong with this case I just kind of made a mistake uh, again I thought oh this will fit all my Prismacolor color pencils and you know I have to put two into a loop and then they don't sit flat like I would like them to. So, yeah, so that was, again, sort of my mistake. I'm sure I'll figure out something else that I can, you know, fit in here that will, you know, make sense and keep things organized. Uh, but otherwise, it's a beautiful, lovely case with a side pouch and a nice handle. The smaller pencil case, because like you can see here, like quite a bit smaller in size but it holds a lot of my glitter gel pens and that's why I bought this pencil case so it comes with three comp uh, compartments that are all zippered really cute little cover on on both sides of the case and I'll give you a, a look inside because I want to also show you these this set of glitter pens so they sit in here really nicely and there's still like some loops here um to hold something else i'm not sure what my goal was just to put all my different sets of glitter gel pens in here this set of glitter gel pens i i bought from timu this is a set of 18 and there's a, a couple of like double colors. I'm very impressed with this set. And I think it was like 14 or $16, which might sound expensive, especially for Timu. However, I didn't realize the, um, oh, I'll put this there. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here. They have the dual purpose. They've they're actually a color shifting glitter pal, a glitter gel <laughs> pen. Oh my goodness, I just can't speak. Sorry, I'll get myself together here. Let me show you on the color swatch. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now they are called Shans. And again, there's 18 in the set. They look beautiful on white paper and they color shift. Now, when I bought the set, I thought, okay, brilliant. I didn't know that they also work on black paper and just as brilliantly. I don't know if you can see as I shift it, like as I rotate the page, but some of them really have a beautiful color shifting look to it. I'm impressed. Love these pens. And the next time I want to place an order at Timu, I'll probably get another set. Because they're really wonderful. So there's that. What else do I have? Okay. Two more items. And then that will complete this. I didn't buy this book at Timu. But to help explain why I bought these at Timu will help explain um, why I bought it for this book. This book is called Mystery Spots. I just got this on Amazon and I'm pretty sure I saw another YouTube channel feature this book. And I thought, oh, that looks like a neat coloring book because they're just dots and lines. And you can tell just by looking at it, like it's not a mystery. You can see that that's, you know, a penguin. And the idea is you take one color and just fill in the dots and spots and lines. I ended up not really enjoying this book as much as I thought. 
So I grabbed a glitter gel pen. I tried some different things. I'm just saying in for me, this wasn't actually as enjoyable and relaxing as I thought it was going to be. But I found these, they're called outline pen markers. There's 12, it says 12 gel outline pens. And now this makes this book more fun. And I'll show you why. When you color with these, it makes an outline. It just sort of, an outline develops as you use the marker. I'll try and show you. You do have to prime these, but they're, it's easy to prime. So I'm gonna come up really close. And I wonder if this one's prime. I'm just gonna press, yeah, see the, the color comes out really quickly. And you can see like, there's almost like a two-tone look to the color. Uh, that's a lot of fun. So now this is more enjoyable when you're sitting there and filling in the spots and the lines because you get to watch it develop. So I wanted to show you that just in case that's something that you might enjoy. So the book you might enjoy and then maybe these outline pens. All right. Wow. I bought a lot of things. Okay, this is the last item that I'm going to show you. And of course, it's my most exciting thing because I have the Color colored pencil set, the 300. So that's a lot of pencils. And in the, you know, the tin, I mean, there's like 10 or 12 trays of pencils. So when I want to use them, I've got to spread them all out on my kitchen counter and dedicate a whole kitchen counter just so I can see all my colors. So I thought I, I need to find something to, to better organize 300 colored pencils. And my friends, ta-da, at Timu, I found this humongous pencil case holder. <laughs> it can hold up to 420 colored pencils. So I thought perfect because I have the 300 colored pencils. So I knew I'd have plenty of space in this, in this pencil case. So look, it's just, it's gigantic, but very nicely done. It's kind of a soft color. If I chose the kitty cat pattern. There were other patterns to choose from. It comes with a handle. It's very strong. It also has these D rings so that you can use a shoulder strap, which is included. I didn't put it on here, but I'll show it when I open up the case. It is a single, like a single zippered. Where's the, here we go. Let's do this properly here. Okay. So it's like a, a one compartment, but when you open it up, you have all the pages like this, so you're not zippering and zippering and zippering, but look at that, all my color colored pencils all fit in here nicely, and they lay flat. The loops were bigger, so you put, like I put three pencils to one loop, and that's okay. Um, because it, it holds them, they don't buckle um, or slip out. They, they're held in there very nicely. So whatever color I want, I can pull it out. I can see the color and the number. And of course, I always keep the color swatching chart handy. And even the, the color chart, right, is, is big because this is three, 300 colored pencils, but it all folds up so nicely. Um, and this is the handle, like the shoulder strap handle. I probably won't use it, but I just keep it there in case I ever do. I want to connect that. I can. All right. See? And it all zips up beautifully. Yeah. I, I would say this is probably my favorite purchase right now because of how perfect this is for my color, 
colored pencil set. There's also um, one zippered compartment here. You put whatever and a Velcro pouch here. So this, my swatch chart fits nicely in one of those compartments and I am good to go. All right. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like this humongous art supplies haul that I, I made from these three different places and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.